Hey guys, welcome to another pick a card reading. Today's pick a card reading is basically around this question. What message does, does this person have for me? So basically I've set out six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. So please uh, think of a person who you'd like to have a message from or that you're wondering about and we'll just do something really quick. <laughs> Let's try and see if it works and all that good stuff. So think about this person quickly in your mind, pull them out into your, into your mind's eye and then ask what message do you have for me? And then choose a number, one, two, three, four, five, or six, okay? So um, we'll get started. Feel free to pause if you need to, but otherwise we'll get started, bye. Hi guys, if you chose pile one, um, welcome to your super quick message. So in pile one, the dynamic that I'm seeing here is that there is a message from one person. I feel you, the viewer, may be very interested in somebody. Like there's somebody that you have been really, really looking at and you'd really like to date this person. I don't see that you have um, made a move on them. However, they are very well aware of your presence. It's like you've done enough actions to put yourself in their path. So the message is coming from them and they're saying, hey, I've heard that you're very interested in me. I've uh, People have told me, I've seen the way you look at me. I, I've heard that and this person is coming across very single, by the way, is very single, by the way. And this person is saying, um, yeah, I would be open to trying and, and having a connection with you if you'd like to date, I'm open. I feel that this person is very single and that's in, in the sense that they're in a healthy place where they're not still connected energetically to anybody else from the past or, or you know, they're just in a place where they, they're doing well for themselves, they're independent and, you know, just kind of doing their thing. And I feel that this is this connection is a work connection. So maybe some of you may have this may be a coworker. Very strongly, it's coming across as a coworker, and they're saying, um, "Yes, by all means, let's please approach me." I think that they want you to approach them, and they're saying that if you were to approach them, they would not say no. So I'm see. I mean, this is weird to say, but I'm seeing football games. So maybe if some of you who are viewing are into football, or or because I feel like this. You know, this may be a man asking about a woman. The woman is giving the message, but it could be vice versa. Uh, or, you know, woman about woman or man about man, whatever, right? But I feel that, you know, football games, everyone likes, right? So I'm seeing football games, um, something about a patio, patio furniture. I'm not sure. <laughs> you, you you guys do the math on that. But I'm seeing that if you're wondering whether to take, a, take the steps, uh, please do. Because I feel that maybe this could hold some charming connections. For the two of you some affection okay so thank you so much if you asked about number one hey guys if you chose pile two welcome um for pile two it looks like there's a message coming from somebody this person comes, comes across as feeling pretty masculine of course it could still be a, uh, a woman with masculine energy or just could just show their aggression or whatnot but they're, they're um, coming across as masculine. And this person is very much interested in you. I feel like this person is saying, hey, because it's showing that you may have options, you know, down the line or even now, just, you know, you're your person and you have options that people would like you or you might like them. This person is literally in the middle of your <laughs> view saying, hey, baby, forget about the rest. It's kind of like that, like, hey, I don't know who these other people are, but I can guarantee you that you will not not be as happy with those people. You will never be as happy with those people as you would be with me. Why? Because I am. I've got it. I'm the one you're looking for. I see this person is really marketing for themselves. So um, they're saying, "Pick me," and it almost looks like a you know a long penis, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, they're 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 very confident in that sense, and it, and I know maybe. If this is resonating with you, maybe the person you have in mind, you might think, oh, this person's really arrogant or whatever. In fact, it just it just seems, or cocky, but it, it seems to me like they're shooting their shot right now. They're trying. They're trying to market you because they really like you and they want to 
get close to you and they want and, and maybe along the way they learn you know hey if you want to get something you gotta go after it you know let that person know so they're literally saying hey it's right here I got what you need and in this picture it looks like they're literally posing for you they're posing and they're saying hey look at me I'm strong I'm confident everybody likes me you know and just they're really trying to market for you so um, I would say that if they're was a message I'm laughing because it's kind of charming to be honest it's kind of charming because that tells me that this person is coming kind of coming into this with some purity like they really do like you I, I mean I it may sound you know honestly if this resonates for you and you know this person this may sound like another line to you that they're saying or like dude this guy's too much or this girl's too much but I I really think they they like you and they want to get to know you. If you want to go ice skating, they'll go ice skating. If, if you want to go basket weaving, they'll go basket weaving. And they'll listen to everything you say. They'll hang on to your words. They'll remember things you about you because they like you. And they are confident. It's nice to find a confident person who's actually willing to work. Don't, don't get me started because this is not a reading for me. But anyway, um, so if this resonates with you, I'd say, hey, what have you got to lose? Ooh, just as I said that. It occurs to me that for some of you, this may be a uh, there may be a nice little karmic lesson lined up in there. So <laughs> maybe some of you won't be able to say no to this person because it's karmic. <laughs> Who knows? But hey, life is life. Go for it, right? I'm not seeing any red flags here. Okay, let me just double check closer. Let me let me get a close look. Let me go close look. Can't leave you out like that. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, again, I just feel like because this may be karmic for some of you, it seems like if you say yes or no, it seems like it's going to be in your face. It's going to be in your face. So you you might as well, right? Give it a shot and see how it goes. I'm sure you'll have fun. <laughs> All right, bye. Aw, if you chose number three, I'm like so dying because it's so cute, okay? This person. <laughs> um, Number three. Uh, the message that I'm getting here is this person is a single person. I feel like it could be a, a woman or a more feminine energy, but again, the roles could be reversed or just whatever. But this person is telling me that they're like minding their own business and then all of a sudden you kind of crept up into their lives. So I feel that you, the viewer, if this resonates for you, God bless. If it doesn't, then thank you for checking. <laughs> but if it resonates for you, then I feel that you were trying to hang back, trying to be cool, you know, trying to act like you weren't looking at this person. This person comes across as pretty creative, pretty artistic maybe even. They might get lost in their work, if it's music or just whatnot. And you've been admiring them, secret admirer, not creepy of course. And you've just been really liking them. The person here is telling me that, and I feel like this person is just really just mentally just so into their work they're just they're in it for the music man or the or the art man or something like that right they're telling me that they didn't even see you you came out of nowhere and I feel that maybe you might be like why is this person so cold why aren't they reacting or maybe some of you I'm getting are waiting for an answer from them I think maybe you tried to ask them out and they they still haven't texted back or it seems like it, it's done or like you know or you know maybe maybe just maybe mm, no I'm trying to see if maybe you slept with this person I'm not seeing that maybe if if somebody one of you did and and um and maybe you're just like well let's keep going let's keep on going what's going on what, you know so anyway long story short this person's message is that it's not that they don't like you it's just that they they're just kind of shy they come across as very gentle in energy whether it's male or female kind of gentle maybe a little cosmic a little cosmic um, a little gentle kind of like head to the to the to art head into their art artistry they're creative and if they talk during the day at all, it's probably like a more quiet, whispery kind of like talking. They don't really talk so loud yet. Have you gotten the shipment? See, and they don't, they don't just talk, talk, you know, they, if they talk, it's for a purpose. They're just not that chatty. And so I think what you're seeing, you, you may be taking for not liking you or being cold or whatnot, is just their personality. They, they, they speak through the art I'm hearing. They speak through the art. And they're saying that 
I don't want to say they're saying don't give up, but um, but for some of you, I'm saying, I, I'm hearing them say, yeah, this is this is what it, how it sounds. Yeah, this is, this is this is this is kind of fun. I kind of like it. That's the energy I'm getting from them. They're like, this is kind of fun. I kind of like it. I, I kind of hope you don't give up. I kind of want you to keep trying and you know, putting yourself in my path. And I think they're finding that a little charming. But what I'm seeing here is that you're all up in their face, you know, so, so they're like, mm -hmm. so let me show you this. Let me show you because you guys are just so lovely. Let me show you these two cards. All right, take a look here. Okay, so here's them just lost in being artistic. There's you chilling in the cut trying just trying not to, you know, look like you're doing much. Yeah, that's actually a little effigy there. But look at you just trying. But they're saying that like the stars here, as they peek through these trees, they just, you just kind of came into their world out of nowhere. And they, you know, they're, they're kind of liking that. They're kind of having a little fun. They're kind of feeling good, enjoying the attention. Uh, they would love to kind of get to know you a little bit better, but they seem a little bit more passive, a little bit more gentle. And not passive. They're not passive. It's just that it's just not in their nature to kind of be chatty and to, you know, do all the, pull out all the stops that you as you are might be and look this is you like hey what are you doing what are you, are you going somewhere want to go somewhere and they're like uh they're just a little caught up in you a little you're, you're kind of doing too much so maybe what i would say but this shows me they would like for you to keep trying it's not that they want you to back off they're saying they don't want you to back off they're just uh, okay they're saying that if they come across as a little bit cool or a little cold, it's not that they don't like you. It's just it's not in their nature to date and to do all that stuff. I mean, they just came into the art room to do do a little do a little art and didn't even know anyone was looking at them, and they just don't date. They just so long story short, my message is keep it up, <laughs> be charming. They find that charming. So continue to pursue this person. I think that you'll have to kind of pull them out, but they're willing to be pulled out of their little shell. Uh, listen to them, and I feel that you actually really do like them. So um, so if you are resonating with, um, you viewer are resonating with the pursuer, please keep, keep pursuing this person. Uh, you know, uh, take them out to coffee they might like that kind of understated kind of thing um take them out to coffee ask about their art show an interest right now if you are the artist or this other person and viewer if that's you then um you know stay open to this connection because this person actually does like you they think you're talented and in, in whatever field you're in whether you consider yourself artistic or not and they're interested for sure. okay all right so anyway i really hope that this resonated. <laughs> All right, bye. Hi guys, so if you chose uh, message number four, uh, what I'm picking up here is that I believe this is the other person, but uh, you know how it is with spirit, that whatever comes through, comes through. So I'm seeing that somebody in this connection, who I believe is the other person giving you the message, um, is saying that at one point, they took a gamble getting into a relationship with you or getting in bed with you or getting into a connection with you because they knew about your past or what people had said about you as far as having uh, multiple lovers, as far as it, go, it like it's going to be complicated with this person. And they had their own fair share of fears, but they took a shot anyway and they 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 knew that you they probably weren't the only one for you or that he'd had a, a a fruitful past let's put it this way and they took a shot and they got hurt about it so what they the message that this person has to say now is that well you know what um you hurt me there's blood and sweat and tears in this connection and but they're showing that they've grown stronger and they're showing that and they look a little like very strong very very almost like you know kind of like badass kind of way like really strong and they're saying you know what if you want to find me if you want to get back to this connection then you know where to find me here's my address <laughs> basically that's the feeling I'm getting here's my address but you know what you're gonna have to make make up for what you've done you're gonna have to build this whole tower right back up to the top I'm not accepting anything less than it and don't even think about sleeping with me until you have your ducks in a row. And that's the energy I'm getting from this person. So um, 
if you res resonated with person number four. Uh, I'm not sure whether this is you or the other person, may but uh, this is a message that came through for number four. Definitely a growth in strength, okay? Thanks. Hi, if you chose uh, pile number five, uh, what I'm seeing for this message is that, uh, what I'm seeing for this reading rather, is that there is somebody in this connection, either you or the other person, who really wanted to get close to the other person. But the other person, it's almost like the other person just wasn't really recognizing that other person as someone of value to settle down with or to even or it seems to even like go out with or something it seems a very very much like an unrequited love situation i'm not sure if there was sex involved i'm seeing no like maybe this person person a could be you the viewer i'm feeling it's like you or you the viewer could be person b okay it could be very much person b i'm seeing that um this one person who really 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 wanted to get close to this other one uh, just got no play no play at all they were left out in the cold they just and it's almost like being rejected in that way minimized them they felt minimized they fe felt dismissed they felt not even um, I just keep getting this feeling like not even acknowledged as a real woman like you know at least you at least want me for my body like something nothing and that's the feeling I got here and it led to a lot of heartbreak I feel that this person now who was rejected, the message is coming from them and this person is saying, you know what, I finally got into a place where I'm able to rise above that, where yes, I had this tower moment that where I was, you know, turned down sexually, re, you know, minimized sexually, dismissed sexually, and I'm finally able to see you know what I went through and I I have more of an idea of the emotional disturbance I went through you know and I see that you know what I'm not just gonna open myself up sexually physically and emotionally to just anybody and there are many people in the many fish in the sea many other people who would like to have something that I have to offer so I feel that this person has reached a place in their life of illumination where they see their value you go girl you go boy whichever one and um, they are not taking any prisoners and they still seem like a little shaky, like I don't know how to wield this, like I, I don't know how to look good wielding this, this sword, but guess what, it's gonna cut your lip anyway. So, right, so they're strong now and they realize that the, the issue was that they were, it's not, it wasn't about them, it never was about them. It was about them going after somebody who was not for them and that is the message there. They've grown and they've healed, okay? And that's that message. Hey guys, if you chose card number six, card pile number six, um, I just wanted to let you know that what I'm seeing here is that the basis of this situation is that there was some kind of love connection. Uh, it could be a, a, hom a homosexual connection. I'm feeling that some of you viewers may have, uh, you know, had a, a partnership or a relationship with a lover of the same gender, right? But it doesn't have to be, but I'm definitely seeing that there was a connection here. And maybe one person is coming across as slightly a little bit older than the other. I'm not seeing a lot older, but a little bit older. It could be reflecting maturity, emotional maturity. Could be really emotional maturity. Like that person was probably more financially uh, responsible, responsible, for example, whereas the other one kind of wasn't, and they're kind of coming out of the tail end of young adulthood, whereas, you know, it's just something to that effect. But anyway, long story short, I feel that um, this person who is coming across as a little bit uh, less mature than the other one it has it is heartbroken because they want to maintain a connection or relationship with this one who's coming across as a little bit older. But the message that I'm getting from this person who's a little bit older, excuse me, is that they're going to, they've decided to move on from this connection, I'm sorry to say. Or I'm not sorry to say because I haven't done the personal reading and maybe if I look into the personal reading or look closer and throw some more cards on this, I'll say, well, you keep it pushing. You know, I don't know. But all I can say as neutrally as possible is the person that's coming across as a little bit more mature, a little bit older, has made the decision to move on from this connection. They're saying that I acknowledge that you still want more. I acknowledge that 
it's not over for you but you know it the 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 time has passed you know it's too too late to go back and i feel that they have just i feel like they feel that they've just been through too much and they're at a point where they're looking out onto the horizon as far off in the distance as that is there's some glow there and they've put their sight they set their sights right on that that path so the message that's coming through here is is basically that they have decided to move on and see what the future holds even though they are aware that this other person would like to continue a uh, connection okay so again only a personal reading would give more insight into the dynamics of this relationship to see whether that's a good or not so a positive or not so positive um uh, decision to make all right so um thank you so much if you looked at if you chose pile six Okay, if you've made it to the final thought, thank you so much for checking in. I, I'm kind of experimenting with this one tonight, so um, hopefully it resonated. If it did resonate, please do uh, hit the like button because I don't have comments at this time on my channel, so literally there's no way to know if <laughs> you resonated with it. However, if it did not resonate, if I can ask you, please do not hit the not like button. If it um, didn't resonate, then maybe the message wasn't for you. But if there's something you didn't like, then please do hit the like button. That makes sense. Um, also, um, yeah, I'm just I'm curious if it worked. And if you have any questions or anything, please do uh, check the description box below. My email is there. And thank you so much. Uh, also, feel free to... S oh my God, yes. Feel free to send suggestions for questions to do because i'm i literally have a list but i never know which one's gonna be interesting all right so thank you and have an awesome day bye